there's truly no limit to how abundance can show up in your life. But for most of us, our biggest obstacle to creating an abundance is wanting to know where's it going to come from? When's it going to happen? How and why? Now, this seems perfectly reasonable because if we understand the process, then we're in control of it. But more often than not, we just find ourselves stuck in an endless pattern of thinking about it and trying to figure it out. Today, I'm going to show you how to avoid this mind trap and just step into the realm of infinite possibilities and watch abundance show up in your life in ways that you couldn't have possibly have conceived of. Now, this is something that is completely experiential. And I'm going to show you how to experience this firsthand. Coming up. Welcome to The Power of Quiet, showing you how to tap into your unlimited side in a very easy, practical, improvable way. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification because every video here takes you a step closer to realizing your unlimited potential. Now, speaking of unlimited potential, when it comes to wealth and manifesting wealth in your life, Let's do a little exercise here. Just think about some of the ways that you can come into wealth right now in your life. What are the possibilities? Just think about it. Now, you might be thinking, well, I could win the lottery, or I could inherit it from some relatives that I don't know about, or I could start a business and work really hard and build it and make money that way. Now, you might have some more ideas, but basically, when you're accessing this knowledge base here, the ideas are limited. There's only a finite number of ways that you can conceive of acquiring wealth in your life. Now, when you set your mind aside, that's how you open yourself up to unlimited possibilities. And that's what graduates have discovered, the ones that have created really big gains. For example, one of the students here nearby in Scandinavia was literally handed a multi-million euro company. They just said, hey, you're the CEO, you have the shares, it is yours. And he just took it and ran with it. Now, another student started a business couple years ago. They didn't know what they're doing. They just decided, hey, I'm going to do this. And over a couple years, that little business developed into something really big that it became their side hustle into their main source of income. And then they were able to quit their regular job. And another one literally had $80,000 just show up in their bank account out of the blue. They don't know how or why. It just showed up. They got a transfer and the money's theirs. Now, when you look at these, see, the mind can't conceive of how did that happen, but it happened. And of course, you've experienced this in your life, maybe not with massive amounts of money, but you've had things show up and you're like, wow, how did that happen? I couldn't have conceived of it, but I'm glad it's happened. Boy, that's great. And you're happy to accept it. Now, to get to the place where you can experience this all the time, like I said, you gotta set your mind aside. You gotta let go of thinking about it, wanting to figure it out. That is a huge obstacle because when you're accessing this knowledge base, it's information is limited to only whatever possibilities that it can think of. And you are literally blocking and ignoring other possibilities that could really show up. And see, here's what happens. When you let go of wanting to figure it out, when you set your mind aside, something else shows up in its place. 
That's something that here we often call beingness, existence, the overall universal intelligence, the God force that we are all you know, a part of. It steps in and manifests things in the most glorious way. Now, if you don't really understand beingness, or you're not really subscribed to believing in beingness, that's okay. You can look at it in a more practical way. You see, if you look at your mind, it only has so many options available. And if none of those options work for you, when you set that mind aside, in a very practical way, something does show up. We call it intuition. So if an opportunity presents itself, there's part of you that knows if it's a good opportunity or not. Whereas in your mind, it's, it's often not so sure. See, for example, I've had many people that have shown up to work on creating money and they say, well, I've got an opportunity. Now, I don't know if it's a good opportunity. It could be a scam. I don't know if I should do it or not do it. And we release on it. Because if you, if you don't know, you're just asking your mind. It doesn't know. But when you set your mind out of the way, then there's like an inner guiding voice in you that says, that's it. I'm doing it. Or it says, no, no, no. That's not the right thing for me. I see that that clearly, no, you know, don't go there. Right? So there's part of you inside that just knows what the right answer is. And that guiding voice inside of you is never wrong. And you'll experience this again when you set your mind aside. And this is something, like I said, it's very practical. So you don't have to subscribe to the idea of beingness or some higher energy, just in a practical way. You see, your mind doesn't have the answers or the answers that it does have are either very limited or very difficult to accomplish. So I guess the question for you is, would you be interested in finding an easier way to have an abundance just show up in your life? And would it be okay for you to just have it show up? Would that be all right? I think most of us would say, heck yeah. Now, I'll show you how to open up to it, how to set your mind aside. So take a look to see if you've been trying to figure out how to be wealthy, how to be secure financially, how to have lots of money to do everything that you want to do. And ask your mind if it knows definitively how to do that. Does it? Now, if it has a definitive answer, you could put it into action. There's nothing wrong with that. But if it doesn't have an answer, you see what a waste of time it is to keep going back to that mind again and again. Tell me what to do. How do I accomplish this? It doesn't know. So asking it over and over again and again, it's a waste of time right? So seeing this, now it's easy to set that mind aside. Now take a look to see if maybe you've been disapproving of yourself in some way. Just maybe down on yourself or criticizing yourself or judging yourself. Oh, I'm not good enough. I don't deserve it. I've been so lazy. I've wasted so many opportunities. I'm just stupid. I have bad luck. See if those thoughts are running in your mind. And see if you've been supporting those thoughts. You know, you've been feeding into them. And that's you doing your part in creating this negative picture of yourself. Oh, I can never do it. I don't have the resources. I don't have the knowledge. See, look at what you've been holding in mind. 
And make no mistake, you've been doing that, right? See, have you been beating yourself up? Have you been down on yourself? Now, first of all, what does that accomplish by being hard on yourself and beating yourself up? Absolutely nothing. It accomplishes nothing. And who's doing it? You are, aren't you? Now, if you're doing it, you're entertaining these thoughts. You're giving them credibility. And you're just letting that mind repeat those same poor me stories again and again and again. And you might feel like you're out of control about your mind. You have no way of stopping those negative thoughts. But it is your mind. And it is you who's putting energy into those thoughts. So you're doing it. Now, if you're doing it, you're beating yourself up. Or are you just running these patterns of thoughts in your mind? Then if it doesn't get you anywhere doing that, now you have an option because you are doing it. You are in control. And now you can make a decision right here and now. Enough of that. I'm deciding to be positive. I'm deciding to love myself, not beat myself up, but love myself unconditionally. Whether I'm rich or whether I'm poor, I love myself no matter what. I'm deciding to be positive. Isn't that a smart decision? So what do you decide? All right, I'm assuming you're deciding to be positive. And with this decision, now you can do something with it. Like I said, you're in charge. Now, could you let go of beating yourself up? It's just a decision, yes or no. And could you let go of beating yourself up a little bit more? Just a little bit. I know it's been a long time habit and you've had these thoughts, these poor me stories for a long, long time. So it's a decision that you make a little bit at a time right here. Could you let go of beating yourself up a little bit more? And could you let it go a little bit more? And could you let go of beating yourself up a little bit more? And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And could you let go of beating yourself up even more? And even more. And even more. And even more. And could you let go even more? And even more. And notice how you feel. Notice if you feel a little bit lighter and a little bit clearer here. Not so heavy, not so down on yourself. Notice the difference? And notice, all it took was you deciding right here and now, I'm letting that go. I'm doing it. It doesn't help me to do it. And since I'm doing it, therefore I can stop doing it. So could you let go of beating yourself up? criticizing yourself, being hard on yourself, yes or no? And could you let go of beating yourself up even more? And again, it's been a habit. You see, you develop this early in your life. You've been doing it your whole life. And you got really good at beating yourself up. But you can turn the whole thing around. Just a little decision at a time here. Could you let go a disapproving of yourself? Right here and now, yes or no? And could you let it go a little bit more? And a little bit more. And a little bit more. 
and even more. And how does that feel? Lighter? Like you're lifting a weight off of you? Now, since positive doesn't hurt anything, could you give yourself some love right now? See, by letting go of being yourself up, you created a little bit of space, a little bit of lightness. Now you have some space to love yourself. If you're busy beating yourself up, it's very difficult to love yourself because all of your thinking, consciously and subconsciously, is tied up with criticizing yourself, beating yourself up. And there's no room for love when you're doing that. But now you've created some room. So could you love yourself? And could you love yourself a little bit more? No reason, just because. And could you love yourself a little bit more? And a little bit more. And even more. And could you give yourself some more approval? And more. And love yourself no matter what. Just love yourself now. And a little bit more. And how does that feel? Now, notice when you think about how to have wealth. You see, your mind doesn't have the answer. And right now, you probably also notice your mind's a little bit quieter. See, by letting go of wanting to know what that answer is and letting go of this constant habit of beating yourself up. We all do this, by the way. See, you're quieting that mind down. And right now, it might feel like, okay, I feel lighter, I feel quieter, but now what? Well, now you just allow beingness to do its thing. But see if you're resisting beingness, like you're impatient, or you're not satisfied with beingness right now. I gotta have an answer. Maybe you feel this pull to go right back into the mind. You gotta catch yourself, right? You see, you got to have a little discernment here. Look at, okay, well, wait. I'm just gonna go back into asking my mind. It doesn't have an answer there. And if I go back in that direction, I know I'm gonna go right back into beating myself up. Do I really wanna do that? No, right? So I gotta catch myself right now. Right? See if you feel that pull to go back into beating yourself up. Now, take the reins again. Take control here. Make a decision. I'm going to be positive and love myself, or I'm going to be negative and beat myself up. What do you decide? Could you let go a disapproving of yourself? And could you let it go some more? And could you let it go some more? And some more. And even more. And even more. And even more. And could you let go a disapproving of yourself? And could you let that go even more? And a little bit more. And how do you feel now? Back into a centered space, calm, quiet, lighter. Notice the difference. When you get into your mind, it's heavy and it's walled up. 
It's constrained. It's boxed in. But here, by letting go of disapproving yourself, you're stepping out of the mind in a very big, intangible way. And you see the difference. It's, a, it's way different. It's worlds apart from being in your mind. And notice, it's easy. It's relaxed. And there's like a sense of confidence, a sense of knowingness. There is a way, right? And it's not intellectual. It's just like an intuition, a knowingness. I don't know how, but I just know there's a way. You feel that? And you can develop this. See, where this is coming from is beingness. And beingness, it's the home of love, true love, unconditional love. So when you take the steps to love yourself, you're taking positive steps to beingness and to the unlimited nature of you, the unlimited part of yourself. So could you give yourself some love? Just love yourself. It's easy. It's your choice. You could do it right now. Could you love yourself? Could you love yourself a little bit more? And could you love yourself a little bit more? And a little bit more. And could you love yourself even more? And even more. And a little bit more. And how does that feel? Pretty awesome, right? And what's wrong with that? And who did that? You did. See, this is you now getting bigger than your mind. And here you're starting to open up to the realm of the infinite, where you can just allow beingness to do all the work for you, to provide all the answers for you. And your mind does not need to know. Now, beingness, it's just this moment. It's the fact that you are, aren't you? You are, and you cannot deny that. And existence exists. You're aware of it. You're aware of your own awareness. You're already self-aware. And look, your mind will never understand what that awareness is about. Try it right now. So your mind has no clue what beingness is, but you can experience it by witnessing it firsthand. I am. Now is now. It just is. I am here right now. That's all you need to know. I am. Now, can you just surrender to this beingness here, this now moment to surrender to it. Hand over your goal for being wealthy to beingness. Instead of trying to rely on your mind, which you see has done nothing but let you down, let beingness give it a shot now. Surrender to beingness some more. And a little bit more. And let go of that need to control beingness. You see, that wanting to figure it out is wanting to control. I need to know how. I need to know when. Right? And just notice that from your mind. You know, your mind will make noise. It'll try to assert itself here. I got to know. But who does that mind belong to? You. I mean, it's only talking to you. And you don't have to 
pay it so much attention. You can notice it, but don't let it sweep you away. You're the owner. And you could choose right now to just surrender to beingness. Because even if it doesn't bring wealth, notice that big difference between when you're in the realm of your mind and all of its heaviness and criticisms and negativity versus when you just take control. I'm going to let go of listening to that. I'm going to love and how that feels. See, if you only accomplish that, that's a huge accomplishment. See, a true mark of intelligence is not how much you know in here. It's really your ability to be happy, to be at peace, and be in love. Now, just give yourself that love and hand everything over to beingness. That's the smartest decision you can make. And surrender to beingness now. Let go of your need to know how, why. Now it might stir up some fear. Like, oh, well, if I don't know, I feel very insecure. Fair enough. You see, those feelings will pull you right back into the mind. But that fear, it's just a feeling. And you can let go of that fear, but you got to do something different than what you normally do when you experience fear. What do you normally do when fear shows up? You don't like the fear and you say no to it, right? And when you say no to the fear, does that make the fear go away? Of course not. So instead, if you have fear here, just say yes to it. And say yes to that fear some more. And say yes to it some more. And say yes to it some more. And say yes to that fear some more. Just yes, that's all. And say yes to it some more. And some more. And some more. And notice how you feel. Does that fear feel lighter? Like it moved out? So notice again what you're doing here. If you let that fear take over, it's going to take you right back into the mind, right back into the stories. And then you just get swept away by all of that. And there's no answer there. But see, just by saying yes to the fear, you made a decision not to go into the mind. I'm just going to be here with a feeling of fear in this present moment. I'm just going to say yes to it. And notice the fear left, went away. And here you are, still in the present moment, feeling good, feeling peaceful. And it's in this space where you have room to allow Venus to work its magic and to fill the space up with abundance. And Venus always brings abundance in all forms because Venus is only positive. It's a home of love. So <laughs> there's no better thing to surrender to than beingness itself. So just turn yourself over to beingness and let go of your need to know. Surrender to beingness. And surrender to beingness even more. And even more. And even more. Now, check this out. 
ask beingness if it's possible to have lots of wealth. Not how, not when, not why, just if it's possible. Ask Venus, is it possible? Or check your intuition and see if it's more possible to have wealth now than it was back when we first started this a few moments ago. Doesn't it feel more possible? And that's your intuition talking to you. That's your greater intelligence, your higher self talking to you. And it'll give you all the answers. Now, you got a taste of this. But if you want to get really solid in it, join me this Friday for the six-week Wealth Manifestation course, where we're going to take a deep dive into turning everything over to beingness, learning how to rely on beingness and get out of our minds. So we're going to experience two things. One, a beautiful sense of ease and wellness and happiness every moment without any fear, without any frustration or distress in our life, just eliminating that completely. And recognizing the wealth that you can manifest right now. And see, that intuition that you're starting to develop, that you're feeling right here, that part of you that says yes, this intuition can be ripened into absolute conviction. Where instead of just a sense of it's possible to have wealth, yeah, it's more possible. To be in a place where you know, you absolutely know, and you know that you know, and you just have such a positive knowing that you can manifest it today. If you like to experience what that's like and be a master at manifestation, to know everything about how you are creating your reality in a very positive and knowing way, without relying on this, being in touch with your absolute knowingness, then join me this Friday, because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So keep developing this. Keep strengthening your experience of being in the now, being in beingness. And if you like this experience of beingness, let me know by hitting the like button. If you felt a little bit lighter, more of a sense of a greater self, let me know, and I'll see you on the next video.